in laravel there is a very nice and popular package that is called image intervention it is actually an image processing library of php it provides a simple and convenient way to manipulate and work with the images in laravel applications there are various features in the case of image intervention for example you can resize image crop image rotate image you can add watermark in the image you can do many other things with it i am going to show you how to install this package and how to work with this package this is a fresh laravel installation now i am going to install that package so i am going to the terminal in the terminal in order to install this package i will have to just use that is composer then require and then intervention image intervention image actually i will get this one here i am going to check google and i am going to search in google by image intervention if i search here you will see the official website up there i am going in this location and here you will see that this is the image php image intervention package website so here i am going to the installation tab from the left side and you will see that they give you how to install it so here it is given that require intervention image and i will use the composer in front of it so from here you can get help how to use this package okay so this is very easy i am now going to install this package composer require intervention image and then i press enter the package is going to be installed on my application yes it is installed so the installation is done now i can easily use this in order to test it i am going to create a controller okay that is for example home controller and then class and index is the method so this is a route so i am going to create this controller php artisan then make then controller then home controller i create just this controller it will be created into the app http controllers here so this is my home controller so in the home controller here i am going to create a function public function index and here i will write some codes i am going to create another one for example another function that is test so something like that i will show output uh, in on case and uh, show uh, and do the action in another function just uh, show the output here for example in the index so the photo here in order to show the photo return view for example i am going to call here a view that is home view and here in the resources views i am going to create the home view that is home.blade.php okay so here i will show the photo in the img tag in which photo i will make the operation uh, i can easily uh, show you it here that is for example i am going to return view it is okay now here i have called the index class this is also okay now i am going to copy some photos from my computer into the public folder here in the public folder you see there is nothing i am going to create a folder here that is for example uploads and in the uploads i will add some items and i am going to copy some items and paste it in my application that is here in the laravel practice in the public and uploads that i have created right now and here i paste all the items now in the left side you will see that i added some items i will show you everything don't worry so here my main photo is for example this plain photo so i am going 
to show this photo uh, using this view here so here in order to show that photo i am just going to call the asset function and here i am going to call the uploads folder and here the photo name is main on dot jpg now i am going to my browser and i run this one home controller not found i am just now going here in the web.php and in the top use app http con sorry http controllers then home controller so like this now i am just going to check the photo yes this is the photo this is a plain photo i am just going to add here some attribute like a style a style equal to wide 100 percent or high uh, wide 70 percent so in uh, in the screen size the image is showing in the wide 70 percent so this is actually the main image i will work with this image and i am going to create another route that will be test so here now in order to do that i am going to my web.php file copy this one paste it here and here i am going to give a test and this is the test function so in this test function i will work with the image intervention package in order to uh, work with the image intervention i am going to call in the top that is use then intervention then i will call intervention image then facets and then image where i get this one you will get this one in the documentation how to use it is saying that you will have to call like this use intervention image in this way you can call also there are many other things in order to call sometimes you will also call like this so from here you will see that this is intervention image facets image i am just going to call this one you see that integration in laravel system is this okay so intervention image facets image i just call this so anyway no problem just uh, i am going to do next thing so i call it that use intervention image facets image now i am going to call here image class then make function image make okay in this case i will have to call from which image i will uh, do the operation so public html is the location uh, where all my sorry public html not public html this is public uh, path in the public path means the public folder right in the public folder here is actually the uploads folder i put all the images so from the uploads folder i will call my main photo that means main dot jpg so from the main image that i show you here from this main image i will uh, make other images so using this function I am going to call it in a variable to save it in a variable that is for example image variable and I will do some operation on this image that I get that is image for example crop image uh, crop means from the main image from the main image I will uh, crop some portions and by default the crop will be started from the middle so if I run this function so from the big image from the middle side it will crop the image and the size will be what i will define here for example i give here 300 by 200 that means if you go to uh, see my image now uh, the main.jpg you see that the image dimension is here 4928 and 3264 big image and total image size is 5 megabyte so from this big image i am going to get some portion that is 300 pixel by 200 pixel so very smaller portion 
and if I use the crop the image will be cropped exactly the middle portion so now I will save that I uh, after cropping the image I will just save this image so there is another function to save the image that is save where I will save I will also save in the same location that is public path and here into the uploads folder I will save this image I will give this image a new name for example crop.jpg so after cropping the main on.jpg image it will create a new image that's name will be crop.jpg i will save in this location and the crop function is here simple so if i run this one that test uh, function if i run it then you will see that in the uploads folder there will be another image that will be crop.jpg now in order to do that i am just going here and here test now it will work enter you see that the work is done i am going here here you see a new image that is crop.jpg i am going to click it uh, if you see this is the middle portion 300 by 200 portion that means uh, if i go to see the main image you will see that exactly from here it takes the photo from in this location here this one and you see that here if you want that if you uh, want to resize this image for example instead of crop i use the resize so here i am going to crop uh, cross it and here the new image will be resize.jpg this will actually maintain my ratio the crop actually does not maintain the ratio it just takes smaller portion from the big image but resize maintain the ratio and crop the image but make the image smaller but do not break the ratio if i now run it what you will see enter i will uh, again run it you see that another image will come here that will be resize if you open that you see that from the big image it takes 300 by 200 but it does it did not uh, uh, break the ratio so this is the difference between two function the on is crop and this is resize so resize is actually used in the real world so i hope you have understood how i did this work so in this way there are many other functions many other interactive filters and effects that i will show you in the next lecture